Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading for July 4th, 2018. And uh, this is going to be a four card spread. Now the first card that shows up the uh, general topic and the, um, the theme of the day, that is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. Then the next card represents uh, <clears throat> the approach that, toward the general topic that we should rather uh, not have or not adopt there. Afterwards we do have, just let me place it more to the right, afterwards we do have uh, the um, positive approach or the things that we should be rather more prone of doing and take on advantage of the day's topic. That will be the Knight of Cups. And the last card represents the positive benefit in case we do keep uh, these couple of conditions true. So how this day is going to reflect us positively in the long run. So let's see now the Wheel of Fortune as a topic. Now this card is very positive for... Uh, well, the Wheel of Fortune has the two sides, you know, it's, it's very positive for those who are uh, adaptable to, change, to changes and in general uh, they, um, they invite changes into their world and it's more unpleasant for those who would rather want to have a strict plan and move forward with it. That's because the Wheel of Fortune always promises uh, some very mm, meaningful circumstances happening, uh, a, a lucky coincidences as well, etc, etc. So into one career at that particular day you may expect to be uh, very busy with uh, uh, tasks given that you would not rather es expect that, uh, that is going to be given to you. And that, as I said, for those who, who like to have a syst uh, systemized plan or they have planned their day through, these, uh, these new tasks are going to come as a burden. But for these who seek a constant improvement and they are very happy to contribute, you know, into the newness and they like changes, they like versatility, that day is going to be very potent in a sense of uh, showing oneself in front of the world, you know, and showing uh, our personal capabilities in front of the world. And that also counts for one relationship, you know, if you're feeling lonely, there will be no better day than this one probably in the next couple of weeks to just go out and uh, try to uh, to talk with people, you know, or just gather up, make certain um, appointments with friends so you can just hang out and see what is going to happen because who knows in one of these uh, hangouts you may meet someone that you don't know and that you know that makes real impression into what that you both make a real impression into one another the bottom line here is is that the day is going to be very dappled with activities and one could take those activities as a uh, opportunities to grow or opportunities to uh, force change into one's life or one could see those um, <clears throat> those activities not as an opportunities but as an obstacles which are obstructing one to execute the plan one created. And then we do have the magician card into a, a negative position or into a approach that one should not take according to the uh, general topic. And when the magician falls into, a, into that particular um, sense it means um, that our confidence could be quite abated. What I mean here is that even if you do like the tasks in your uh, career, uh, you may kind of um, think that you do either lack knowledge or you either lack skills to uh, fully capitalize on those new tasks, you know, and to uh, traverse them into a, a lucrative goals. Or if you, for example, as we go, uh, as we went with the relationship, you know, you, you really meet such a person that uh, you both make a um, impression into one another. You may think to yourself that, um, you know, such kind of a guy or a woman will never actually give a chance to a guy or a woman like yourself. Something like the, the, the Cinderella and the Prince, you know, because they are from a different layers of the society or it could be vice versa that 
you may think that you won't give a chance to such a person. Anyway, the magician really points at the uh, the disturbance of the equilibrium where one is really willing to try even if one doesn't have the necessary means because the magician is a very um, is a very initial card then the necessary means will be collected further uh, going further into the future and on the day is about exploring is and is about giving chances to those activities and to those enterprises that are going to embark into our life and then we do uh, then we do go to the uh, positive approach that we should take toward the situation that will be the knight of cups and in that particular sense the knight of cups is always a, a card encouraging us to try out things that we find very good for our emotional uh, uh, for our emotional state or in other words we need to do what we like to do or what will make us uh, emotionally flourishing so if you like spending time with somebody that you have just met well then schedule um, another meeting or another date if you do like you know involving yourself into a particular activity into your career well even if you think that you don't have any clue how you should proceed on forward just involve yourself into it if that's possible and if you're um, you know the um, I don't know your supervisor is okay with it etc etc the bottom line here is that just because at this particular point you may not have all the means necessary that should not be a prerequisite to drop off um, these ideas in, in general to drop off these activities so it's just you need to be open to surprises at that particular day and whenever surprise happens you need to kind of like try to capitalize on it and invite it in your life <clears throat> So for some that could be as well a, a very big change into one's life because the Wheel of Fortune sometimes plays a role as a, a karmic change, karmic relationship or um, an opportunity once in a lifetime, all right? chance that comes only once in a lifetime for some of you that could be the very true here so be vigilant about those uh, about those lucky surprises uh, pleasant surprises that are going on around you and even if they go against the plan that you have created just try to make a little bit more room into your uh, routine so you can fit them somewhere in there and even later on capitalize on them and then we go to the um long-term benefits here with the ace of swords very broad card when it comes to such a follow-up of the previous tree uh, for, I do suspect that this card is trying to tell us that as uh, as soon as we start doing what we like to do here even that may go against our plans or against our um, what was the word here I, I, I was about to use um, not against our sovereignty but um, against our confidence so you may not feel confident into something but yet you do it that could play a as a card that is going to boost our confidence furthermore and also are going to make us realize that at the end all that matters is the memories we create all right and one rather wants to have happy memories doing things that one likes to do than memories of doing things that uh, one should have done you know these are average memories the the ace of swords also for those who they um the wheel of fortune plays itself as a once in a lifetime opportunity the ace of swords plays here a, a role that uh, one is going to be able to force a, a very tremendous tremendous change into their life in ch change which actually one is going to um, cut off a, a big portion of noxious and negative influence either from people or either from situations into their life and is going to leave it in, behind their back in the past that 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 such a negativity no longer will be present again this is just a general reading and for every single one of us is going to affect us in a different way remember that i'm trying to cover up as much as general uh, interpretations here as possible in conjunction one card with uh, with the another very important here to be said um uh, finally with uh, the king uh, the uh, 
Prince of Cups, excuse me, or the Knight of Cups, is that one needs to follow uh, mostly their intuition through that day. So whenever the enterprise or the surprise in general happens, uh, your intuition will kick in and will tell you should you try it out or should you not try it out. Even if the logic says says don't, if the intuition says, okay, we, we need to make a move right now, then you make a move. So try to follow up your intuition during this particular day. And that concludes the daily tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked it. I want to remind you that... Um, <clears throat> If you uh, if you're interested into the extended tarot readings for the month, you can purchase such for your star sign for just one dollar at my website, which is written uh, down below in the description of this video. Or if you're interested in a private reading with me, you can also check out my website that is written down below in this video. That being said, I wish you best of luck in July 4th, 2018. Rat signing up now. See you next time. Bye.